Brian here. Another day, another video. I am working on my 1973 Crown Supercoach. This is a rescue as much as it's purchase. So today's project is to install the water pump, which goes back up in there. So I got to get down on here and I'm going to get busy, try and get going because the weather is looking pretty nasty today a lot of drama with getting this part i originally ordered it from rareelectric.com they turned out to be worthless they charged me 50 dollars for shipping assured me it'd be delivered friday and then hadn't even shipped it as a friday so i had to scramble and go to my local napa paid a little bit more for it but i was able to go drive two hours to atlanta and get it this is the old one and you can see it's it's just locked up uh no idea what's wrong they aren't really worth rebuilding and the pulley cracked when i pulled it out so here's the new one and it's nice and clean and uh it's ready to go so anyway a little bit different impeller design but again it's ready to go it's clean it came with a new copper gasket these have kind of an interesting way that they go in i'll talk about that when i'm putting it in um it came with some generic instructions and they're worthless um, they applied a regular gasketed um, water pumps and then i've got a new uh, belt for it so anyway that is scrap i'm gonna hang on to it <clears throat> put it right there for safekeeping and i've got the fan hub that i'll have to reinstall later so let me get going all right, friends. So the way this works is there's a copper ring that sits in this groove right here on the water pump. And then there's a retaining ring. So make sure there's nothing on there that doesn't belong there. doesn't fit. What? <sighs> oh no. So I'm having a fit issue here. That could ruin my weekend. It physically measures the same. So I think it's just a tight fit. And it doesn't help that it's a solid steel part. So apparently it's an interference fit. <clears throat> really? That's exactly what's going on. <sighs> Why did it be in a lot of interference? That's okay, I've got a very small amount of encouragement for this. I've added some tools to the arsenal. Gotta find them first. Oh, there it is.
this light. I didn't realize this went in with a hammer, but it came out with a pry bar, so that actually sort of makes sense. be substantially easier in a pit. Because a big part of the problem I'm having is I can't get in here at the right angle. And it's kind of crooked right now, but I think I can fix it. Let me see if I can just get in here with the two hands. in. Next, we get to put this ring in. And so what this ring is, is it's a tensioning ring. And it basically locks the uh, water pump in place. Well, apparently it's a split ring. That's interesting. I remember where the split was. <sighs> Why do I get the impression? You know what? I'm going to leave the split at the bottom. Because if there's seepage, I want it to come out. kind of go slow because this this does tack my hands 
It makes them hurt. The strange things is I need to get the belt on here. It's real tight there and completely. So this is an eccentric water pump. So as it spins, it changes the clearance. think there's an easy way to do this. <laughs> really? I swear this is just a little too tight. And of course Nap is closed today. So there is a trick I could pull. I kind of hate to do it, but I could seat it on the pulley and then bump the engine to pop it into place, which I, again, I hate to do, but I don't see any other option. Pressure, please. Yeah, wrong direction. I'm gonna seat it here. And then I'm just going to run it around, and that's really not good for it. I'm actually going to do it from underneath. Here we go. Ghetto belt. Oh shit, and it's twisted. What the fuck? There it goes. So now we just need to tighten it. Tightening them, I'm just snugging them. There. So, what I've done is I've got my torque wrench set to 35 psi or 35 foot pounds.
minds need a rest. Maybe not. I had a washer break. A lock washer. two things there. Um, I don't want the engine to start because I don't have a cooling fan, but I also wanted to run that belt a little bit and then I'm going to check the um, I'm going to check those bolts again. to replace the coolant that came out when we moved the water pump. And for the minute, I'm only putting distilled water in. And we'll call that a partial. So I've added as much water as it's going to take at the moment. I need to get it running in order to add the rest of the water. Uh, so I need to put the fan hub back in in order to add water. There's no more claustrophobia trying to get in here. I've owned it for long enough that I guess it's okay for it to have broken, but that's still frustrating. I think 
that's right. Alright. So at that point, stop there. That's really tight. Oh, it'll work. I might destroy the bearings. I might be buying the premise of behind prime. Yeah, this fan's kind of heavy, by the way. The premise behind prime is that when you order stuff, it'll be there in two days. And if you pay extra, you can get it in a day. Well, I paid extra. And it didn't show up yesterday. In fact, it hadn't shipped until yesterday. And I understand that Amazon needs to make money, but you know what? I pay for the service. I paid extra for next day. If you don't want to, if you don't want to do it, don't don't take my money and don't commit to you know next day delivery. And two days later, you still haven't shipped it. That's fraud. I think Amazon's losing their ass on shipping, and they're trying to cut corners and hoping nobody will notice. And that's just dishonest, Jeff. Be So what I'm doing is eyeballing the alignment. I need to go look at it from the other side and make sure it's right. I'll be right back. These have to go up in here. Man, this is tight. All right, well. <clears throat> something you wish was better engineered on every vehicle but this is going to be that item up in place. Alright, so that gets me a fraction of where I need to be.
There's always something. These are really, really tight. Let me just pull this in a little more. this grease came from. I wonder if there's something up there that gets greased. With this last bolt, which is sitting up right here. <laughs> right where I can't get to it.
there is a better way. I'm gonna figure out what it is. Bolt is a pain in the ass. But I think it'll eventually get it. A little more durable. A long breaker bar. leave that box wrench back there so I do have a deep socket but it's in 3 8 oh, man everything around here is in difficult to access with this fan You know what, we'll come back to that.
course that one never comes out. Just put it back together and I'm going to start it up. So we'll start that. Dash start's not working right. I don't know what's going on with that. I forgot to tighten the uh, power steering, so let me deal. Of course not. It's not going to be that easy. So there's a uh, tensioning screw over here. I guess I, I swore this came apart easier. way to do this right now. these belts are going to break in. Okay, that feels good. Alright, so 
So what I'm doing is there's a screw down here, or a bolt down here, a lock bolt. And then I've got, down here on the actual pump face, I've got two lock bolts that lock it in. You know what, I don't like that. I'm gonna root through my tools until I find the right wrench. It's a 916, so that's right. If I keep pulling, I'll find it eventually. This bag would be an easier way to manage my tools, but it's actually a nightmare. All right, that's an actual half inch. No, it's not sixteenths. Half an inch. Tired. I'm not in the mood. Let's see if 14 fits. 14 fits. Sorry, guys. This one's particularly hard to access. I only get about an eighth of a turn at a time. There we go. that started with that belt loose. Shut it down right away. Uh, she's smoking a little bit. She's mad at me for shutting her down like I did. Yeah, it's smoking a little bit, but you know, it's been asleep for 15 years, so I'm not real mad about that.
still smoke it a little bit, but again, it's 15 year old fuel. Can't be bitching. Didn't have to take it out and dump it. Um, I did change the fuel filter. So, let's see where we're at with water. Yeah, still not drinking any water. Let me see if I can help that. Belts look good from up here. I've got a little bit of a valve here. So I need to put this uh, rock plate back in. Um, hopefully this won't take me too long. So step one is to identify my bolts. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so one, two, three, four. I think the other one's in my pocket. <laughs> yep, five. Pack this in here by hand. Alright, so that's, that's just sitting there. Now,
probably the hardest part. Now that that's in, the rest of this will be relatively easy. Relatively. until I get all my bolts in because it makes it easier to wiggle. And wiggle it will have to. pieces I thought I was missing. underneath there. I'm going to see if by chance it's what I need for these. It's not right. It is.
Sorry, there's not much to look at down here. So I do see that my water belt has turned itself around somehow. I'm going to ignore it for the moment. Alright, so I'm pretty much done in here. I wish I could say I was done overall, but now I need to 